Oh yeah. About to get some good food for the night and get the back in this truck. What's up guys? <clears throat> What's up guys, it's Keiston. Just woke up, we're here in Houston, Texas. Uh, I dropped off to my O2 yesterday, uh, about to head to my 90. For those of you who don't know, in trucking terminology, your O1 is where you pick up your load from. Your 90 is your very last load, and if you have a multiple stop load where you have to stop at somewhere else along the way, before you drop off your load completely. Uh, those are referred to as your O2, your O3, your O4, depending on how many stops you have before you get to your 90. Yeah, dropped off to my O2 yesterday. I was heading to my 90. They told me that uh, we're appointment only. Nobody set up an appointment for me, so they told me that the next available appointment is tomorrow, 11 o'clock in the morning. But we'll get you taken care of then. So I got to pull over like around five o'clock yesterday. Uh, had a good little bit of day to myself. Just kind of hung out with the guys on the video game and stuff. So uh, yeah, I'm about to get the dogs taken care of. About to check this load. And then we're gonna head back down the street and get this load dropped off. So, see you guys in a minute. Just got the load untarped. Got my tarps folded. Gonna put them up there in the headache rack. So, what they don't tell you coming into trucking is that yeah, you make a lot of money or you make good money, but one thing that you're gonna wanna spend that money on is good investments towards your truck. Right here, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine straps here. A lot of times I end up with like 15, sometimes, you know, anywhere from 10 to 15 straps or whatever, give or take the load. I said that to say that this, besides the one wheel, has been my most favorite investment and the best time saver ever the bumblebee strap winder oh my god wow you can get these from bumblebeestrapwinder.com or if you're already in a truck you can grab these from pretty much any major petro like the one in joplin uh the world's biggest truck stop in iowa you know anywhere that has like a hell of a lot of stuff for all the truckers or whatever they're gonna carry these um it's gonna run you about a hundred dollars comes with a drill well no <laughs> sorry doesn't come with a drill i bought this drill on amazon if you're gonna get it from amazon you're definitely gonna want to buy one of these bits hold on you're definitely gonna want to buy one of these bits to go in there because it doesn't come with it because you're gonna need to stick it into that hole that's what she said <laughs> with that being said I'm gonna show you guys a little of this thing in action. Oh, I got sweat in my eye, hold on. Uh, 
I'm out here working too hard, man. I got sweat in my eye. I don't mind bringing the straps closer to me so that I don't really have to do a lot. But the best thing about the strap winder is unlike this handheld crank one, you don't have to keep it in place. I can pick this thing up, move it closer to the straps if I want. As you guys can see, I just knocked out all nine straps in a little bit under five minutes. If you don't have that strap winder, I don't know what the hell you're doing. Um, I feel like you're wasting a lot of your time. I feel like you're wasting a lot of unnecessary energy. But uh, yeah, man, 10 out of 10 would buy again, would definitely recommend. So. You know, uh, I'm about to get all this stuff put up so we can uh, get this shit unloaded. I'll be back to you guys in a second. All right, guys, I'm back in the truck. Uh, sweating bullets. Definitely gonna have to get a good hot shower slash cold shower tonight. You know, hot shower to get clean, cold shower to relax. Still waiting to get unloaded, waiting for them to snatch this metal up off the trailer one of these days i'll give you guys a more in-depth step-by-step tutorial on like how to get these things folded uh, how to get these tarps folded securement unstrapping all that for anybody wanting to come into the flatbed industry or for anybody who just wants to learn a better way of uh doing their tarps and chains and straps and whatnot I got you. I can be an entertainer and a teacher all in one. We're gonna get this unloaded, wait for the next load, you know? So, anything that's gonna get us out of Houston <laughs> is what I'm looking for. Definitely looking for the best load available, but anything that's gonna get us out of Houston, <laughs> I'm jumping on it, so. I'll be right back with you guys in a minute. Uh, yeah, man, y'all stay cool out there. Cause boy, oh man, Houston is. Houston beating my ass today. guys uh we just got to the truck stop for the night i dropped off that load in houston earlier at the 90. i'm doing my on duty time right now uh about to do my post trip inspection gonna go to walmart in a second i still gotta get some stuff for the doggies uh gotta get some some things for myself uh yeah we're gonna one wheel to walmart there's a raisin canes right across the street I'm about to go over there, grab me something to eat, uh, take a shower for the night, 
and then you know chill a little bit for the night before it's time for shut eye so uh yeah i'm about to take care of these doggies these fur babies and i'll get back with you uh Got big ass cracks in their parking lot. But uh yeah, alright, so luckily I had some points, uh credits, whatever, for the oh shit. Luckily I had some points for the parking spot. So right now I've already reserved my parking spot for the night. I'm on my way to Walmart. Uh I got a, I got like a little shopping list. Hopefully it'll all fit in my book bag. I'm actually in need of a, another book bag because I told myself that I was gonna get a bigger book bag to be able to like transport everything in so I don't have to like carry much. Hopefully we can find all that here at the Walmart. And if not, at least we had a nice little ride. The Raising Canes is like right here beside the truck stop so and they close at like one o'clock in the morning so the so they say yeah i'm on my way to i'm on my way to walmart and there's no sidewalk here a few moments later all right guys i just went to walmart pulling up at the spot Oh yeah. About to get some good food for the night and get the fuck back in this truck. <laughs> 